It is finally here, July 20th, the day that all Ipsy Plus subscribers have been waiting for. They have announced the changes that they are making to the Glam Bag Plus. I'm actually shocked and pleasantly surprised with the direction that they're taking it. Um, but I did wanna film a really quick video just kind of talking with you guys, chatting with you guys about the changes, but I figured it'd be boring if I was just sitting at a desk. So I'm gonna do a get ready with me as well. Just as like a sheer like little disclosure background thing, I did my eyebrows off camera because I hate doing them on camera. All all of the products that I use, I may not get a chance to talk about, but we will have them listed and the shades listed in the comments or in the comments in the description, uh, that, that place. And I did try and pull a lot of what I got in my either Ipsy Glam Bag Plus this, this month, um, the Glam Bag Regular, or my Boxy Charm. I think I only have one thing from Boxy Charm, but it's the lipstick that I was in love with and I really wanted to test it out. Um, so yeah, so if I don't get to talk about it, I'll definitely make an effort to like show you guys that I'm using that product and then we'll list it all in the comments and everything like that. So let's jump into this. I, obviously Ipsy is one of our most, uh, our uh, most popular things that we do here on the channel. And I love it because you guys comment on your bags, you, um, you tell me what you got, you tell me if you liked yours, you tell me if you like what I got. I I know this month I was very hard on Ipsy for the plus. I really felt like it was one of those kind of like throwaway months where they didn't even really put in any effort. Um, I think a lot of people kind of agree with me just based on the comments that I've gotten on that video, the likes versus dislikes I've gotten in that video. Honestly, now, seeing what the changes are, I'm thinking that's probably why this month was so bad, if I'm being honest. I'm thinking they knew this change was coming and one, they're probably putting in a lot of effort to try and get the change all ready to go by August. And two, I would imagine as a vendor or as a, um, a company who is collaborating with Ipsy, I would not wanna really give my products or sell my products to the bag right before this huge change where hopefully people will wind up liking it more after the change comes. So I'm thinking they just didn't have like access to as many products because people like the companies they're working with knew this change was coming. That's my guess. Um, now I did post in, I posted in the comments of the plus video what my theory was, um, kind of what my mom and I had talked about. Ooh, sorry, tangent. I told you guys I don't like fake watermelon flavor. The primer doesn't bother me, but that one's pretty potent. That's, ugh. My mom and I had talked about, and she was thinking, what she was thinking was that they were um, going to push plus size products all the way to ultimate. And they were gonna do like maybe one or two full size with the, the plus and then like some sample sizes, kind of like make it like a cross between the two. And if that was the case, I was kind of like, I don't know, I'm not feeling that. I, I want full size products, that's why I did it. Um, and then the other theory she had was um, that they were going to potentially take away plus altogether. And I was kind of like, well, I don't know. It's possible. I don't imagine that would happen because I felt like the plus was really popular. But yeah, so that's not what happened. So let's stop, that's, that's just my backstory. Rambling, sorry. Trying to get into the mood. Get Set the scene, if you will, set the stage. So let's talk about what they're actually doing. They have announced that they're going to, each month on the first and the third, allow us to pick three of our own items. To me, that's a great idea. I mean, literally what we've all been complaining about is they don't seem very specified. Um, basically, if you choose one product, your whole box seems to be determined by that one choice. Everybody who chose the same product really that I chose seemed to get the same box, uh, maybe one or two variations, but overall, like virtually the same exact kind of situation going on for all the boxes. Not great, not great for a company that kind of you know, has prided itself on the fact that they give you a customized box. Especially when like this past month, I got a hydrating serum, two different hydrating primers, which you're never gonna use in the same makeup routine. Even if you use the serum and one of the primers, you're not gonna use both primers. Um, and then a mascara and a single eyeshadow. Not just, not the best variation for me. So I like the idea of them being like, hey, we're gonna give you, um, basically what they said is they're gonna give you at least four items to pick between for each of the three. So basically it's like, like if anybody has a FabFitFun or anything like that, it's very similar to their customization system. With FabFitFun, basically they say, hey, these are your first four choices and you get to pick between like, 
you know, a moisturizer or a serum or a lipstick or something. And then you choose that one and then you move on to the next four. So I like that. I, I definitely think it's going to push them in the right direction, hopefully. Um, they said you're gonna have at least 12 items to choose between uh, with your three, maybe more, um, but they're gonna make sure that you have at least four things to pick between uh, with each different le level of, of customization. So I was like, okay, all right. I mean, that definitely sounds like it's giving you a chance to really make it more specified for you. So if you're somebody like me who doesn't mind getting one or two skincare items, but really doesn't wanna get a box with three or four, then hopefully you can kind of direct it into um, the area that you would like. They also did say that these customization options are going to be based on your beauty, blah, 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 blah. Let's try that again. Based on your beauty preference sheet. So if you say, hey, I like, you know, neutral colors, but I want them to be, you know, more makeup than skincare, they should look at that and go, okay, so she wants neutral colors and makeup. Let's give her this option, this option, this option. And if you say, hey, I really am more into skincare than I am into, oh, sorry, I didn't show this, but it's not from the box. I really didn't care. Uh, if, if you're like, I'm more into, um, to skincare, they're gonna say, okay, well here, you like skincare, so here's this option, this option, and this option in skincare, and just kind of go from there. I think that's a good idea. I don't know how true that's gonna be. Hopefully they will be able to give some sort of specification. Um, obviously they can't have it specified for every single person out there. So I just think that that ability to choose your products is really gonna help with some of the issues that we've seen. But yeah, so that's kind of how the product's gonna go. Now I will say, if they're having us choose our, our um, products on the between the first and the third, these boxes are gonna start coming late. They are not gonna get here on, they, they, for me, were the ones that would always arrive first of all of my beauty subscriptions. Maybe Glow Addict would beat it because Glow Addict's like really good about like the first of the month. They're like, hey, your box shipped. So this is definitely gonna probably delay when the boxes arrive, I'm guessing. Um, and probably by a good amount, like probably by a few weeks is, is, I'm thinking we're gonna get them closer to the end of the month than the beginning of the month. But I could be wrong. They could be like, hey, choose your products next day. They're going out, it's coming at you. And I'll be like, oh, wow, I'm shocked. But I, that just was, I, I would assume that that would be how it's gonna go down. Okay, so we've talked about the products, the customization aspect of it and how that's changing. The last, big change is one gonna be the packaging and two gonna be the bag. Um, let's talk about the bag first. So they've decided they're going to do a drawstring bag instead of the normal little one that we are currently getting. And the reason they said they're doing this is because people have requested a bag that allows them to fit all of their full size products in it. And honestly, as much as I love the bags that we are currently getting, I do kind of understand what you mean, what people have meant by that, by that complaint. It was never an issue to me. I liked getting the little bags, but it definitely would be more convenient to have something that once you get your package, you can just slip it all in and go. So they've created these cute little like drawstring bags. They look super nice. Um, I was a little worried. The first, the first that I saw about it um, did not include a picture of like the, the prototype of the bag. And so I was thinking like, is it gonna be cheaper made? Like, is that like a way for them to kind of cut down on cost of making the bags? They don't look like it. They look like they're gonna be really quality, kind of like velvety bags. And they said they're still gonna be on par with the theme of the month. So it's not just gonna be like a basic Ipsy bag. It still should have some sort of a theme, um, which is honestly what I care about. That's why I like getting multiple of the like the glam bag and the plus that's honestly partially why i kind of like was tempted at first to do the ultimate as well and there's been a couple times where i've just bought the ultimate bag separately because i really like having the full collection of them for the cute ones but yeah so it's it's definitely gonna be a difference in the bag but it still seems like it's going to be quality and it still seems like it's gonna be a really cute little like themed addition to um to the whole uh idea behind ipsy and the glam bag anyway um i was a little worried they were gonna take away the bag because um, when my mom was starting to do research about August, she was like, I didn't see a bag for, um, for August for plus. And she was like, do you think they're going to get rid of the bag? Do you think that's going to be one of the changes? And I was like, I hope not. Like that's kind of the whole point is that we get a bag with each one of the things that it's in my opinion, one of the, the, the selling factors, if you're going between BoxyCharm and Ipsy, just looking at it at face value, the same price, but with Ipsy, you're getting a bag rather than just five full size products, which is what BoxyCharm does. Um, now that being said, I have been a lot happier with BoxyCharm lately. So that's a whole other, you know, box of, of, I don't know. I was gonna say box of fishes to open, but I, that is not a saying. So I don't know. I, I don't, I'm just gonna move on. I'm just gonna, 
just doing my makeup. I think I'm gonna like the change in the back. I have to see it though. I have to get like a feel for what it actually is gonna look like and if it is quality and if they really do do a good job. But I think it's a good, I think it's a good idea in theory. So, um, so now everything that we're dealing with here, for me, I have to give it, in my opinion, three full months before I decide if it's going to, if the changes have been beneficial or not. And this is my reasoning behind that. Three months, that's going to give you enough time to, um, to one, get a real feel for it. Cause one of two things is gonna happen on their first month in my opinion. One, they put in a ton of time and they are going to really come out and wow with the first couple months so that they can convince people to either stay or to join. Um, Cause that's kind of how I felt when they did the original change for the plus and um, the ultimate, when they announced, I think it was in October last year, they announced they were gonna raise the price of the bags to $12. They were gonna add um, a little bit of a different idea to the, the plus. I think that's when they started doing the bags for the plus and then they added the ultimate altogether. Um, when they did that and we first signed up for plus, I liked the like the first two or three months of the pluses that we got. I liked them better than I like my BoxyCharm. I was thrilled. I was really happy with the products they were giving us. We I felt like we always got a, um, a palette, which is a huge thing for me. I really like getting palettes in these subscription boxes. So I think that really um, if, if, if they've taken enough time to properly prototype it, then you should have a couple really good months. The other issue you may face or we may face as a collective is if they have kind of rushed to get this done, it's potential that the first couple months may be a little weaker than what we would hope it would be. So that's why I think giving it like two to three good months to see, really see how the bags are, how the products are, how the customization works, how late they come, that will all make, ultimately make my decision whether I'm gonna stay or not. So basically with them making this change, it's convinced me I'm probably gonna keep it for at least at least three more months. I would probably longer because I really hate canceling stuff. I just, I don't know why. I guess I just hate my money even when I'm disappointed. But yeah, so I think I think that that's only the, the fairest way to assess it is like, you know, give it a couple really good months to, to, to prove itself or to, um, to prove that it's not what it is, is promising to be. The last thing, the last big change they're doing is they're no longer doing boxes for the plus. They're sending them in um, the little mailers, kind of like what we get our little bags in because they're more um, recyclable. I think that's great. Anything that you can do to help the environment packaging wise, I think that's the, absolutely the way to go. They said they're, um, I think they're either made of recycled product or I could look it up and I'm not going to. Anyway, they're healthier for the environment. I'm all for that. I think I don't think there's anything wrong with not getting a box. I think that the little mailers will be more than sufficient to get us our products. Um, as long as they obviously take their time to make sure that they are packaged well and that the shipping companies know not to like, you know, throw them and break them. Cause we all know that I am really, really unlucky in getting broken products. It happens like almost every Ulta order. It happens in my boxy charms and everything else. So it's just, as long as it doesn't come broken, I don't care how you ship it to me. Okay, so let's do some closing thoughts. First of all, this is the eyeshadow that we got in the plus last month. I'm using it as a highlighter. Somebody recommended it. I think it's gonna work. Let's see how it goes. Closing thoughts. I definitely think that um, some of the issues that Ipsy has had recently um, hopefully will be taken care of with this change. I think it has potential to be um, something that's really, really good for the brand as a whole. Obviously nothing's guaranteed. It could be worse. Uh, I don't really know. I know for a fact that after this last month, I really looked at like, okay, so we don't know what the changes are. Depending on what the changes are, am I gonna keep the plus? Am I gonna try and move up to the ultimate? Am I going to just keep my regular glam bag? There's definitely a lot um, that can be done to kind of make it better. Oh, holy crap, that's not at all what I was expecting for that lipstick, holy cow. Sorry, it's the first time I use it, if you guys can't tell. Um, I still like Ipsy, I like getting my Ipsys, and that's why it's really hard for me to be like, oh, I wanna cancel it. I don't really want to cancel it, but I definitely don't want it to stay the same. So I think this is a good way to kind of give people what they've been asking for, which is a more customized box. That's really what the biggest issue has been. And and my mom put it really well when we were talking about it today. It's the palette I'm using, if you guys are curious. She said that the plus really is, it really should be their biggest. And I believe it is, I don't know. I mean, I'm obviously this is just me kind of saying, you know, what I would assume based on one, the fact that so many people seem to say that they do have the plus. Um, and two, the fact that the plus really is the biggest competitor for BoxyCharm. So the idea of the plus is really good. It's a, a mid-level box, gives you some full-size products. It's not super expensive. I mean, $25 really isn't that unreasonable if you're somebody who does care about makeup. 
um, and you know you're probably gonna use $25 worth of makeup every month, it's a good thing to have. And it really does kind of give you the opportunity to test out some new products. So if they change and they make this more specified to what we as the consumer are looking for specifically, it makes it easier on them. They're not having to pick out things that they think we're gonna like. Um, they We kind of you know tell them, hey, these are the three products we want. And then based off that, they probably can give you a, a pretty good two other products to go with it just based on what you they can kind of tell you choose. So I, I have hopes that this is going to make it a really good, um, unique box, specific, spec, specified, specified was the word I was going for, specified for um, for kind of what we as the consumer are, are hoping is going to come from um, from our little, uh, our little bundle box each month. Okay, so sorry guys, my time management skills are absolutely atrocious. So instead of uh, watching me do my eye makeup, which would have been way more entertaining, you guys got to watch me do my foundation for uh, 15 minutes and I did my eye makeup off camera. <laughs> Um, and if you guys are interested though, this is what the inside of the palette looks like. It's from Hip Dot. It is the Napa palette. It's actually the first time I've used uh, Hip Dot, any of the palettes I did by their bundle set, and I love it. So we'll definitely do some more detailed stuff on that. So don't worry. Um, this was a super simple eye look. It took me like five seconds. But I did want to at least show you guys the mascara since we did get that in Ipsy, and that's kind of the whole theme of this video. So let's try the mascara out um, while I finish up my thoughts. So so yeah, so I think um, I think it definitely has potential. I think we're going to um, to definitely see some changes with Ipsy, which is what we've all been asking for. It will certainly um, change the dynamic of the unboxing culture, at least for the plus, because the whole thing with the unboxing, I think there's partially, you know, there's that, what did we get? It's a surprise. And this is gonna be way more customized. It's gonna be way more like, hey, we chose this product, but this is what we got. I still think it will be interesting. It just won't be as much of like a, oh, look at the surprise of what I got. Like, it'll be more, hey, this is what they're offering. So it will definitely change um, the game a little bit, but I think in a great way. I don't think it's at all a bad thing. Uh, like I said, I was really worried when they announced they were going to change stuff. It was going to be for the worst, but every direction that they're taking, I think is going to be a strong one. I think it's something that, um, I think it's something that we should be excited about. So I am personally excited about it. Uh, like I said, they definitely have secured me as a customer with the plus for at least a couple more months while we test out the waters and see how this change works. If it winds up being just as terrible or worse or whatever, then I probably will cancel it. And I don't know if I'll move to the ultimate or if I'll just keep my regular glam bag or what what I'll do, but I have hoped, I, re I really do. Um, of course, I love these Ipsy videos and the boxy charm and the unboxing videos because I love talking to you guys and hearing what you got in your boxes and all that kind of stuff. So same thing with this. I would really love to hear your thoughts on it. Are you excited for the change? Do you have hope that it's going to be really good? So far, everybody that's commented on stuff really has been kind of excited that it's going to be a much more personalized experience, hopefully. Um, but any concerns that you guys have, any you know good ideas that you brought up that I, I haven't mentioned or anything, I would love to hear them, theories, all that kind of stuff. I'm, I'm into it, I love it. I love talking to you guys, so. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. I enjoy doing Get Ready With Me's. Uh, I would need to work on my timing, that is for certain, but I will promise to get better. Um, and like I said, I, I love talking about Ipsy and BoxyCharm and all the other subscription services. So, um, so yeah, if you guys are into that kind of stuff, maybe subscribe to the channel. We would love for you to be part of the Dark Angel family. And other than that, I hope you guys are all safe, healthy, and you have a wonderful day and stay girly with a dark twist.